Uh, the, name of, the name of John Wayne just reminded me of a basic point. People pursue violence not wantonly, but as a quest for identity. This helps to understand war. But John Wayne represents, he's the very archetype of Western individual violence in its quest for identity. Individual, literate man imposes upon himself ordeals of violence and deprivation and discipline in order to discover who am I? What would the difference be here in the corporate with tribal identity? Well, the Negro population is not interested in private identity any more than the Israeli or the um, Arabs. They want a corporate identity. I saw the, maybe a, a, a lot of you saw that German show the other night. It was a CBS News report on Germany. A pretty terrifying, a really terrifying thing because here are millions and millions of uh, very competent people desperate for an identity. Hitler gave them an identity, tribal, which they are now ashamed to recover or repeat. And they have no alternative in their own minds except a repeat of the Hitler thing because he was a tribal man who gave Germany a corporate, tribal identity, not a personal, private one at all. Now, Hitler came out of the radio age. He was a product of radio. A radio in the 1920s created tribal man right here in North America on a big scale. The jazz age was a huge enterprise, a quest for corporate tribal identity. Gertrude Stein said when she looked at her own generation, which could not possibly join this jazz baby enterprise, you are all a lost generation. Hemingway used it as an epigraph in Farewell to Arms. Anyone over 20, in 1920, anybody over 20 belonged to the lost generation because they couldn't tribalize. They couldn't get turned on by radio. They're far too literate. Radio, when it reached Germany, had a very different effect from radio in North America. Germany is not all that literate. Germany has never lost touch with tribal, corporate life. The old traditions of those countries, including, oh, lots of Yugoslav, other territories, very tribal. And I'm not using tribal here in a journalistic, pejorative condescending sense. I'm using it technically. People who live by ear are tribal. All children are tribal because they all live by ear. They don't live by eye. But I'm not using the word tribal in any condescending sense at all. Uh, you may find this hard to uh, get, but it, to me it is just uh, an, a form of behavior based on the dominance of the ear rather than of the eye. And it's something that is happening to everyone in this room, including me, at the present time. We're all going back to the ear, all losing our visual orientation. And this I don't think of as an ideal. I don't think that things like this should be allowed to happen uh, 
irresponsibly just because uh, TV networks or radio networks find it convenient to exploit our sensory lives?